Hello everyone, welcome to the MedPro Disposal OSHA Compliance Seminar. We'll be walking you through everything that's included within the Compliance Portal. So to start things off, let's go to medprodisposal.com. Once you are there, you are going to see a couple of different tabs. The first tab that you will see will be the Customer tab. If you go to the drop-down, you'll see the Compliance Portal tab. This will take you to My Compliance Portal. Once you're there, you'll put your user login in there, which is your user ID and password, which is provided to you by MedPro. And once you are logged in, it will take you to the main dashboard. What you'll notice is the training tab, which you'll be able to click right into the training complex for the compliance program. When you access the training tab, there are options here for group training or individual training. And this is exactly what employees will see when they log into the individual training, and they'll be able to enter their email and take their assigned testing. As an admin of the compliance portal, you will need to click on the administration tab. Once you click, it's going to prompt you for a password as well. For added security purposes, go ahead and add your training password. Once inside the admin tab, you'll see training credits. Expired trainings, training policies, progress, and assigned training policies still taking place. You will have all your trainees listed in the Add Trainees list. This is also where you can add new employees. So, when you start the compliance program, you're going to want to enter all of the employees that will need the training. If you're adding any new employees, go ahead and add them in here. Put first name, last name, position, and email. The most important part is their email email because if you're going to do individual training, the employee will receive the email and will be prompted to start their training. Once you add each employee, you'll be able to assign the training and you can go in and assign a new training to any of these new, new employees. All facilities will need to take the bloodborne pathogen training for healthcare. You may also need the HIPAA and high tech and omnibus training. That's going to be your HIPAA compliance program. We also offer GHS HASCOM training. Now, GHS HASCOM training goes hand in hand with the MSDS SDS sheets. Most facilities are aware of the change and have been using it for the last couple of months now. If you have taken the GHS HASCOM training, you should be pretty familiar with the new 16 point SDS training sheets. If you decide you want to activate and send out training, you'll need to click on the employee's name and a drop-down will occur. At that point, you can click on the checkboxes to assign the specific training. Once you have everything ready, click the Assign Now box, and this will send out the assignment email to the employees. The recipient will be prompted to take X training, and we will follow the link provided in the email to the training portal. Once inside the portal, they will need to enter their email and should be able to take the assigned trainings. The, the portal also has training programs in the employee's history, so they can view their documents and certificates as well. If you need an employee to print out a document, you can do it here and also within your My Docs. Moving on to the MSDS SDS Sheets. This is one of the ways we have implemented the MSDS SDS Sheet Finder. It's basically the Google of SDS Sheets, which makes life much easier in accordance with compliance regulations. By just having to access this portal, you're within full compliance. At the end of the day, it's like having an online binder full of MSDS SDS Sheets. If you want to individualize them and look up specifics for your facility, you're more than welcome to do so. And the easy way to do that is to bring in the manufacturer of the product. If you're looking for something specific, of course, the MSDS Sheets Finder will find exactly what you're looking for. As you get more specific within the product or the manufacturer, we have a more specific material safety data sheet for that chemical. You will even be able to add My MSDS SDS Sheets. What you can do is add those right into your personal filing cabinet within the portal. The My MSDS SDS Sheets is where all your saved sheets will be located when you pull it up. You can see that MSDS sheet you added will be available for quick access. Administrators can add, modify, or remove sheets needed. Also, what we do have within this MSDS SDS sheet finder is a chemical inventory and a label maker. This will help keep track of what labels you have, what chemicals you have within, etc. 
You can also add up these on the portal as well. So, as you see within the labels and requested MSDS, SDS sheets, you will be able to make new labels for your chemicals and also request MSDS sheets that you can't find. If you can't find anything in here, we also offer the product as well with helping you find MSDS sheets that you're not able to locate. Additionally, we also offer ICD-9 and ICD-10. Many facilities have already taken ownership of the ICD-10 due to the October 2015 deadline. Everybody should be pretty well versed in the ICD-10, but we have some employees using ICD-9, maybe even used to those codes. If you can't find that code for ICD-10, this is where you'll be able to locate it. Basically, what it does is an ICD-9 to ICD-10 converter. If you need to find something in ICD-10, but you are just not sure and you remember what it looks like in ICD-9, this should help you find the correct code. We have updated federal regulations, which you can search within the compliance program. Now this is updated on a weekly basis. Anytime a new regulation does come up and you need to take a look, you will be able to do so in this part of the portal. You have different options to help locate, like keyword, title number, and regulation. There is a tab for Infectious Information, which is a resource page for the CDC and other important contacts you may need for more information. This leads us into the Safety Plan Creator. The Safety Plan Creator, as you can see, is a multi-plan system where you'll be able to create or modify specific safety plans that you typically would already have within your facility. And if not, this will make life easier to create from scratch. Within this tab, you will be able to start creating a new plan for your facility. You will see green and white dots on the left side of the page. These are progress dots that will show you how much you have completed. That is going to tell you exactly what you have completed and what you have not. Once completed, you will be able to publish the plan. Click Save and you will be able to view or print any safety plans created. Now, if you're thinking, what happens when an employee decides to leave and now you have to change the safety plan? It's a simple process for the facility to change these plans. Just go into each plan and replace his or her name and contact information, and you just replaced and updated your safety plans. Typically, for something as extensive as these plans, roughly about 10 to 12 pages, it generally takes about two weeks to create from scratch. These plans should take about 45 minutes to complete. Administrators save valuable time when using this portal to create their safety plans. Moving forward, we do have a self-auditing tool. One of the things that most administrators do is they can self-audit their facility to make sure that they are within compliance with any OSHA audit. Moving forward, we do have a self-auditing tool. One of the things that most administrators do is they can self-audit their facility to make sure that they are within compliance in case of any OSHA audit. For this, we have a couple different reports that every site can run. There are many different audits you can go through and make sure that you are following the compliance correctly. Once you go through everything and start an audit, you will, be, you will be able to see that you can take a look and figure out what is in compliance and what is not in compliance. If you need something to be corrected, there are a lot of different tools within the compliance portal at your disposal. You will be able to tell if a particular item within the workplace is not or is in compliance. If it is not, you will have the ability to assign out the correct person to fix the problem. The correct person could be your maintenance staff, or could be someone within your nursing team or your medical staff. Then you will be able to email out the assignment, how to correct it, and also how to implement an action plan for that. You could also include photos and a response for everybody who goes to this audit file, or for a specific person. My Docs and Forums this is where all of your training certificates are going to be stored. If you have any HIPAA, Bloodborne Pathogens, GHS, HASCOM, or DOT, these will all be located within the My Docs. If you are an admin, it may prompt you for a password. Go ahead and type in the user password. Then go ahead and click which year you are locating, which will give you access to the training certificates. Now, like in the training tool with the employees, it will also give you updates on when they are going to expire as well. So you can reassign those, but the employee will also be able to print out certificates along with yourself from the My Docs and forums. Lastly, there is a compliance overview. This gives you a good high-level overview about what is going on within your facility. This can help with making sure that you're staying up to date with compliance, 
but another way to give the best overview pretty quickly.